first thing you'll need to do is uh, determine what type of GPS or compass that you're using. So what I'll typically do is hop on the uh, website and just kind of read through the specs and, and make sure it is what I need. So here you can see I'm using the GPS module with the compass, also checking out what type of power uh, it needs. So when I do connect to the flight controller, I set it up appropriately. Just checking a look at the, uh, the general site. Next, I'll go to the website of the manufacturer of the flight controller. Again, just understanding the specifics of how the controller works, how the GPS will connect to it, and so forth. So here I'm digging through the, uh, the specs of the flight controller, trying to get an understanding of which UARTs I'll be utilizing and, and what how that's tied to which serial port on our new plane and so forth. So here I've found the GPS. Um, I'm noting that it's on UART 2, which would be TX2 and RX2. Also taking note of the serial port that will be utilized for once I set it up in Arduplane. Once I've done discovery on the website of the flight controller and the GPS, that's when I'll make the physical connections. Obviously putting ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt. Uh, the communication CA and CL and DA, and also making sure that the TX and RX are assigned appropriately. Note you do put TX to RX and RX to TX. Not same pin to same pin type. Next, I will hop into Arduplane and Mission Planner and Arduplane and start making the configuration changes. Uh, first and foremost, I need to set the serial port. Serial 3 was all reference. Here you notice I'll change the uh, serial baud to 38 and also the serial protocol to 5, which states for GPS. That's the information that we found on the website. Next, I will scroll through the list of default parameters and look at GPS, make sure auto config is set to 1, as well as GPS type. Here I've set it to 2 since I know specifically the type of GPS it is, which is a U-Box. Uh, then after I clear my search, I'll scroll up, I'll find the compass section, since I do know that this module is a GPS with a compass module as well. And I will make sure that compass enable is set to 1. And also compass use is set to 1. At this point, I've made all the changes. I've made sure that I wrote Perimeters to save the changes I've made. I can go over to Setup, click on Compass, and validate that my compass did in fact show up. Obviously, I'll need to go through and make sure that I run the compass calibration. You can find that information in the Arduplane documentation. But also to validate that the compass, uh, I'm sorry, that the GPS is working, you can see that I have GPS coordinates, I've got a SAT count, and I've got GPS fix.